Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to make a riser using IOD's Indigo Floral Paint Inlay and the Trimmings Number no. 3 Mold. You can get both these items on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. To create the riser, I'm using a wood round and some wooden beads for the feet. I'm attaching them with a strong multi-purpose glue. Next, I'm adding cornstarch to the Trimmings 3 mold and I'm using IOD's air dry clay and pressing it into the mold to create my casting. I'm using the micro rim to tidy up my edges and then when it's ready, I'm going to flip the mold over and use gravity to help me work the mold out. The molds are quite flexible so you can bend them back and get your mold out relatively easily. After making enough of the molds to go around the border of my wood round, I'm gluing them down using a strong multi-purpose glue. When the molds are dry, I'm coming in with Dixie Belle's Fluff Chalk Mineral Paint and I'm painting my first base coat. I'm going to make sure that I get into all the little details and crevices of the molds so that it looks like a seamless piece. I'll be doing two coats of Dixie Belle's Fluff to make sure that I have good coverage. I'm also making sure to add paint around the edge of the riser and the little feet that I added on the bottom. I'm now selecting which parts of the indigo floral paint inlay that I want to use. These are repeating patterns, but you do need to make sure that you find the parts that match up. I'm also going to be using the paint inlay on a set of four coasters. So while I'm positioning my paint inlay, I'm making sure that I'm going to have enough for those as well. It's important that you cut off the borders of your paint inlays before using them. Now that my paint inlays are ready, I'm going to paint a thick coat of Dixie Belle's Fluff Chalk Mineral Paint where I want my inlays to go. I'm being careful not to get paint on the borders because I don't want my design there. You want to make sure that you have a nice thick coat because the inlays will not transfer onto dry paint. When I feel like my coat is thick enough, I'm going to press my paint inlay into the wet paint. I'm going to smooth it out and to be sure that I have good contact. I'm also being careful to line up the second part of my paint inlay with the design I already have down. Next, I'm using a mister with plain water to thoroughly dampen the paper and a soft cloth to press down on the paint inlay. Now coming in with my brayer to make sure that I have good contact and that I've smoothed out the design. Once the inlay is dry, I'm going to come in with my mister again and dampen the paper thoroughly. This will help the paper to release and leave your design on the painted surface. If your paper is still sticking, use a bit more water to help the design release. You're then going to gently pull the paper away. In this case, sadly, not all of my indigo floral paint inlay transferred, but that's okay. That's all part of the beauty of it. It looks quite vintage and distressed. Here I'm using Dixie Belle's fluff again to touch up some of the areas on the borders. 
when the surface is dry, I'm using a 50-50 mix of clear coat and water in a spray bottle to spray and seal my design. When the spray is dry, I'm coming in with Dixie Belle Satin Clear Coat over the entire piece with a brush. I'm being very careful not to overwork the design. Now it's onto the coasters. I'm painting a base coat of Dixie Belle's Fluff Chalk Mineral Paint on each of them and then after they're dry, I'm working out which parts of the indigo floral I'd like to use. I'm using some scissors to gently crease and score the outline of the coasters and then I'm trimming them down to size. I'm repeating the same process, putting down a base coat of Dixie Belle's fluff and then pressing the paint inlay into the wet paint. I am then using a brayer and then coming in with a mister. I'm repeating it for each of the coasters. When the paint inlays are dry, I'm misting them and gently pulling back each of the inlays to reveal the design. I'm going to save each of these pieces for other projects as I'll get a couple of uses out of them. When the surface is dry, I'm misting again with my 50-50 mix and then when that's dry, I'm coming in with a couple of coats of Dixie Belle's Satin Clear Coat. And here's the finished product. I'm really happy with my little riser. I think that the indigo floral is absolutely beautiful and the trimmings mold really brought the whole thing together. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Please hit that like button if you like it and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more projects like this in the future. You'll find a detailed product list in the description and you can find all these products on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.